out of the review yesterday? Um, pretty much it was just our defence. Uh, we didn't defend well. I think we allowed high 50 inside 50s and um, if you do that for any team, uh, it's gonna, you're going to struggle to stop them scoring. Uh, along with that, they just adjusted to the conditions better than we did. They played better wet weather footy. Um, you know, I think uncontested possession, they, they flicked it round on us and just were real clean and, and caught us off guard. What about the conditions there? It was a little bit wet, but it wasn't like it was bucketing. Do you, do you think it's a little bit more slippery than, say, what Amy used to get? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't played a whole lot of footy out in Amy Stadium, so... Um, yeah, it, was, it did sit on top a little bit, but you know they showed it was still you were still able to use the ball by hand pretty well, and um, yeah, and if you were clean and switched on, then yeah, you could you could just still use it well. What sort of stuff do you need to do to be uh, better defensively against the Roos? Uh, I guess it's uh, it's not individually; it's more of a team effort. So we got to look out for each other. Um, you know, uh, allowing, like I said, allowing high inside fifties. So it has to stop the chain of, of them marking the ball lots. Um, and yeah, just getting up the ground, keeping the ball in our half. You know, we, yeah, like I said, the inside 50s, if we keep giving up high inside 50s, then we're going to struggle to win. But obviously, massive Brody now, you know, this North Melbourne game just takes on huge proportions, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, but it's been like that all year. You know, we've um, been up and down and, you know, we've been a resilient group and bounced back each time. So uh, we've just got to concentrate on the process of, um, of doing what we have to do to win. And, you know, hopefully, uh, yeah, we do all those things well. Uh, the result will take care of itself. We like to think about it and talk about it a lot. Do you guys get nervous considering how much is on the line coming out this week? Uh, well, I can only speak for myself and personally, I, no, not nervous at all. You know, it's a, it's a massive stage and a massive opportunity for us. So, um, you yeah, know, I'm excited. Uh, I think everyone else is excited. And, you know, we really um, you know, probably would have liked a six day break or something just to get out there a bit early and just, and just get it done. Tribunal looks like it's been pretty kind to you guys this week. Obviously, Daniel Wells is out. Burma has been referred straight to the tribunal. So. Those two key players are out, is that, or you think it will make the job a bit easier? Yeah, not necessarily easier. Um, you know, it's two of their best players that we don't have to worry about so much, but I guess you're, I think they're sixth or seventh. You're not in, in that position um, from, from not having depth. So, you know, teams these days pride themselves on having depth. So they're going to have people that come in and, and fill those roles um, if they do miss. Uh, so, yeah, it's, um, we don't put a whole lot of effort into people individually. So. It's still about doing those processes right and, and defending as a team. What about Scotty Thompson? He's obviously one that you know is important to you. Do you think he's a, a good chance? Yeah, you know, Tom has been real durable over his career. I think he played 99 games straight before his last injury. So, um, if yeah, I'd, I'd be pretty confident Tom would get up. And you know, must have been close last week. So, um, yeah, if Tom is right, I'm sure he'll select himself. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's out of my control, I guess. Um, yeah, I've got the managers doing that sort of thing. Um, I don't know too much about it. I've been out of contract all year, so um, I guess that's probably allowed me to play some good football. I was, I was at peace with it pretty early and, you know, just accepted that that's how it was and, you know, it was sort of now or never. Um, yeah, so I guess you play good footy, it takes care of itself. You have had a great year, though, haven't you? I mean, it's been quite comfortable. Yeah, if, I guess, um, yeah, in terms of games played, it's been been one of my better years for sure. And um, I feel comfortable out there. I feel like I, I belong out there. And, um, you know, we've seen what this team can do week in. Um, so that's something I want to be a part of. And, you know, it's a special place and a special team. And uh, if I get the opportunity to stay here, yeah, I'd love to. All good. Oh, no, Uh, d still got to do his con concussion test, so, um, you know, I think it'll come down to that, I think. Uh, besides his concussion, I think he was pretty much okay. So, yeah, if he gets through that test and um, obviously you have to take a few precautions with him uh, being his second concussion for the year. So, uh, if he gets through that, I'm sure, sure he'll be right. What does he do? Well, when do they do the I'm not... <laughs> I think it's main training day, but I'm not 100% sure. You can't really quote me on that. <laughs> well, surely that's got to be... Sentimental, perfect. <laughs>